What is going on guys? So today I thought I'd bring you a quick little video just to show you what kind of tech and equipment that you can expect to be added to the game in the next few coming updates. Okay, so the first one that I want to show you is um, the proximity mines, which speaks for itself. And it sounds like these are going to be a placeable object, um, uh, possibly anywhere of your choice. So when a creature or an enemy comes near your mine it will obviously explode within proximity uh, so these would be a good thing to sort of place around maybe your base or a place where you don't want creatures to reach um, or get to you you could place these on the floor and take care of any creatures that may pose a threat to you so obviously these are still in development uh, you can see that even the models themselves aren't finished yet but when these are implemented into the game I can imagine these will be pretty handy and will come in very useful so this uh, is one of my personal favorite things that I've seen uh, that's in development so far. This is the railgun and to be fair I cannot wait for this to be implemented into the game. There's not actually any real weapons so to speak in the game that can really cause a lot of damage. Like there's the repulsion cannon which does a little bit and the knife but there's not really anything that can pack a punch. So this hopefully will um, maybe be able to kill maybe like the reapers and stuff like the bigger creatures that uh, there's just no way of killing in the game just yet so that's another thing that I'm looking forward to seeing implemented into the game I don't know about you okay so next uh, I'm going to show you the new ladder there is um, obviously the one on the right is the one currently in the game where you can connect two corridors together um, but the one on the left, it looks like it will be, um, you'll be able to create a bit more of a space in between the two corridors. So right now you can only really connect the two corridors together very close. But this one on the left, it looks like it's kind of like a passageway. So as you can see here, uh, what I was trying to explain is there will be like sort of a little tube where the ladder is placed. And that will go um, in between two corridors. So it will be a bit more of a gap. And it personally it looks better than having the two corridors like directly on top of each other I've always thought it looks a bit ugly I don't know if that's just me but and this looks a lot better it's a lot more realistic in terms of what your base can look like and it looks it looks a lot nicer so speaking of corridors we probably or most of you already know that there is glass corridors coming into the game at some point but I thought I'd touch on them because these are pretty cool like, windows are cool enough how it is, it, it's a nice view from your base, if you have a nice scenic area around your base, it's nice to look out. But this will make the game a lot more immersive when in your base, looking out, say if you built your base in somewhere like a, like a jelly shroom biome, where there's the big fluorescent pink mushrooms, the light that would come in through the glass, it'd, it'd make the base look a whole lot nicer. And it just gives a, you know, a sort of... A wider angle of around your base so you can see what's out there uh, so I like this idea I think it's really cool and I can't wait to see those implemented into the base menu okay so uh, another thing coming to a game very soon I know they're working on it now I saw on Twitter that um, this pi this particular image here um, it's a thermal plant and as far as I'm aware the thermal vents that are in some of the volcanic areas or um, that you come across in some of the shallow areas actually um, I assume that you're going to be able to place these thermal um, plants above those thermal areas and collect heat energy um, so I'm not sure if these have to be attached to your base or not just yet um, or whether it's a way to like charge power cells or something I'm not too sure yet but either way it's a good idea it's a new way to get energy so obviously they've already they've already added the solar panels uh, so this is just gonna be another way to collect energy for your base so that's pretty cool okay so this is a lithium ion battery and this is a upgrade for the normal battery um, I assume you will be able to do this through the workbench um, like where you can upgrade your bins and oxygen tanks and stuff I imagine that will be implemented uh, at some point because uh, obviously the model is there and it 
apparently increases the battery capacity to uh, well doubles the battery capacity size so instead of having to carry around several normal batteries you can upgrade them and save space in your inventory but have twice the power so when you're driving around in your power glide or you're using items left right and center and your battery's draining you can just upgrade them and have twice as much power uh, so that's a really awesome upgrade and can't wait for this either okay so another new item that will be in game shortly is the centrifuge which apparently is the it's like kind of like the fabricator but it is um, the tool that we use to analyze um, DNA samples so if you've collected DNA from an animal you'll take it over to the centrifuge and that will um, from what I know there is certain upgrades which you can use after collecting DNA and the DNA um, that you collect you will take to the centrifuge and then that will basically be the way you upgrade um, certain items that use the DNA so that will be sort of like the middleman in between the DNA and the power up so that's where you'll take it and possibly upgrade certain things I'm not 100% sure I haven't really read up too much on it just yet because there's not a lot of it in the game right now um, but that will be cool to see once it is fully implemented and yeah so doors are coming to Subnautica I'm not sure 100% where these will be built it doesn't look like they will fit in um, the corridors but there are certain rooms that I will get to shortly that may be able to take the this size door so there is some rooms um, like I said that I'll show you in a sec which sort of have a, a doorway on them but it doesn't look like it would connect properly to a corridor so maybe this will be like what you'll place in between a corridor and said rooms um, but either way that's pretty cool So it also looks like we'll be getting a new uh, style of locker also. Currently it's sort of like a black glass design which doesn't really fit in with any of the other sort of colour schemes of um, everything else on Subnautica. Um, so this uh, fits in a lot better with the rest of the items that you own. Um, it looks a lot nicer than the, the one that's currently in the game also so can't wait for that as well. I'll make bases interiors look fine. Yeah, so there's also stairs coming to Subnautica. Um, with these, like, I don't know whether you have to build these inside your base or whether you would be able to build them outside. I'd like to think that you could build them outside of your base because, um, say you have a platform um, on the surface, on the very surface of the water, but you kind of can't jump out of the water to get onto it, out of the water. Maybe you could place this staircase on the edge of the platform um, that goes sort of down into the water a little bit so when you're coming up you can you can literally just walk out of the water surface and onto the platform where your base is maybe that it's entirely your choice where you put them but either way I can't wait to see that implemented into the game and how you can use these to your advantage and base building so apparently there is picture frames coming to Subnautica uh, apparently these work by um, the player being able to eventually take a picture using the PDA uh, so you'll be able to pull that out take a picture of whatever you like and then upload it onto your picture frame and then obviously you'll be able to hang that around your base um, in places once it's implemented into the game so that's pretty cool to take a picture of a nice reef back or uh, get up close and personal to a reaper and you can be like there you go put that on my wall look how close I was to this reaper and I'm here to tell the tale or peeper's more your thing than then you can stick a picture of a peeper up but uh, <laughs> anyway there's the picture frames okay so on your screens here you can see LED lights which you'll be able to build and I'm more than certain that these will be able to be built outside of your base because I don't really see any point of them being built inside so you can you know make use of these in like dark places like caves or other areas where there's low light where you might want to see a little bit better and you could probably also use them as sort of like a visual beacon instead of the traditional beacon so sort of more of a light emitting one um, so you know where say like a, a cave exit is or an entrance to a cave save having to place a normal beacon you could use a light instead so 
I look forward to seeing those as well. So another way you'll be able to light up your, around your base is the spotlight. Um, I mentioned these in a couple of videos ago. Um, I me no, sorry, it was my last video. Um, I mentioned these, but there was no actual image I could show you. So here's that image of the spotlight. Um, and I'm not sure if you're going to be able to sort of decide where this light faces, whether you're going to be able to turn it or whether it's going to be sort of stationary. I'm not too sure. Um, but I suppose once they're implemented, we'll find out. Um, so that's going to be pretty cool. It'll be a cool way to light up your base um, and sort of see your base clearly stood out in the distance if you're sort of going off exploring. Um, be able to see it basically it just makes the whole like area look nicer and nice and lit up at night that would look awesome you can sort of spot predators as well um because i know there's going to be a lot of upcoming creatures that aren't actually in the game yet so i can imagine there's going to be a lot more enemies in the water as the game progresses um so being able to see those enemies coming towards your base um will be a great advantage so this is the aquarium this will be coming to the game soon and it will be able to be built inside either your cyclops or one of your sea bases and this will be able to hold um, smaller life forms like little fish or peepers or other sort of edibles so whether or not once they're in there you can take them out I'm not too sure but I can see if that is possible to take them out once they're in there be a good way to sort of store fish and keep them alive and fresh because um, I'm sure the fish go off after a certain amount of time in survival um, so that'd be a good way to keep fish fresh and on supply so rather than you know having to hunt every time you need fish you could you know go out and get a few at a time and then stick them in the tank and then you'll have like a sort of a little supply and who knows maybe they'll breed inside the tank and give you uh, a sustainable source of food we don't know but either way that's a good idea I like it So this right here is the botanical analysis machine and it basically is going to be a holder for um, plant life. Um, so I have noticed in game that they've been adding all the different sort of names and stuff to different plants and they don't seem to currently have a use yet which sort of made me think why are they adding those names to those plants if there's no real need to have the names. So maybe this is the answer to that question um, so perhaps once this um, has been implemented a little bit more you will be able to collect plants um, and store them in here and possibly get some kind of benefit out of them perhaps or whether it's to get sort of like there's the DNA for animals you may be able to get some DNA for the plants and use them as an upgrade on something I'm not 100% sure on that but Either way, I'm uh, looking forward to seeing what happens with this because it looks cool. Um, and I've seen an image of this sort of already built inside the life pod. So, again, that's very interesting because it's obviously already built but not implemented yet. So, maybe they're still working on getting all the plants to work with it properly before they add it. So, either way, that's pretty cool. So I'm just going to talk about faces a little bit now um, because there's a few quite exciting images on this page um, which I will leave a link in the description uh, if you want to take a look at all these 3D models for yourself. Um, but this is the observatory and it appears that you can build this on the end of a corridor. Um, so it's basically a glass ball giving you sort of an almost 360 degree uh, view of wherever you you placed it basically um so whether or not you have to build it on the end of a corridor i'm not sure but looking at this model on the right it may perhaps at some point have a entry hole on the bottom or the top for a hatch maybe um so like you could build a hatch on the side of a corridor you may be able to build one on the side of this and have it as just a singular observatory separate from your base or you could attach it onto the end of a base overlooking a big cliff into the mushroom zone maybe I that's entirely your choice but either way this looks cool and I'm excited to see these in the game 
So we're moving on with the bases now. This is the um, a base room, a generic base room. Um, so again, this looks like it can be built uh, with the sort of round area here. It looks like it will be able to be built on the end of a corridor again. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. And it looks like it has the ability to have windows and reinforcement. Whether they're already on there or not, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it's nice to be able to finally have like a big open room rather than like, you know, cylinder corridors everywhere. So, like, inst like currently when you're building a base and you're putting lockers and your workbench everywhere, the sort of, for me, it's uh, sort of a bit scattered around the base because you're having to build it in corridors. Uh, so this sort of would be able to give you a nice big room where you can have sort of everything in the same place. Um, so that'll be nice. Um, so you could have like all your workbench and your fabricator and all your sort of other building tools and all that kind of stuff in the same place on the end of a base instead of having to build countless corridors to try and fit all that stuff in. So that's awesome. So last but not least, I wanted to show you the transfuser. This is the handheld item that you will use to sample DNA from different species of animals and then being able to take these eventually to the centrifuge and like I said earlier use them those DNA samples to benefit yourself um, or your tools um, so for example I know there is a uh, an item called the Shalonian hole reinforcement module I think I said that right which is to my knowledge the the best upgrade not yet implemented into the game but currently from what I know it's the, the strongest upgrade for your Cyclops hull wise I think it's the equivalent to say like I think like four normal hull reinforcement modules so it's pretty handy you could have like three of them and be able to go to like some stupid like 3000 meters depth without having any damage to your Cyclops so that'd be pretty awesome um, but on that note guys I'm gonna end that episode there and I hope you enjoyed this video um, I possibly will do a similar type of video to this um, but with the new species that aren't implemented into the game yet and do just a little showcase um, on what to expect creature wise that will be coming to the game soon hopefully so anyway guys until next time I hope you have a great day catch you later